You may have noticed some Arduino starter kits on eBay for about £30 and you might have wondered exactly what's in them. So today we'll have a look. So the kit arrives in this sort of lunchbox affair and supposedly there's about 140 different components although I suspect that's mainly different resistors and things like that. So let's have a look at each of them in turn. I've got a standard breadboard, the resistors. Here we have some kind of mystery circuit board. And this is a stepper motor driver. This is the kind of uh, chip that you'll get on a 3D printer. We have an ultrasonic range sensor. That's the kind of thing that you find in a uh, car bumper. Um, but quite often they get used on uh, little range finding uh, projects and robots that, that can find their way around. Five volt relay module. So we've got a bag of buttons containing uh, various push to makes and some other things. Let's have a quick look in here. Right then, so in turn we have a whole pile of LEDs. Don't know if you can hear that. That's a little um, ball tilt switch. A couple of different potentiometers. Passive buzzer, there we have it, an active buzzer. Spaces, some uh, push to make switches with funky red buttons on the top. This is the uh, flame sensor, which sounds really cool. I'm looking forward to using that. I believe it detects sort of ultraviolet bursts, and that's how it picks up um, flames and explosions. LDR, LM35 temperature sensor, S8050, which is um, an NPN transistor for driving small motors and LED arrays, things of that nature. Uh, we've got the infrared receiver, which suggests there's an infrared LED somewhere. There we go, that's used with the remote control. Right, that's those components. Jumper cable, cable for hooking up the Arduino. And it's got a button cell on, so it's probably a clock of some kind. RTC, tiny RTC. There we have, so a little real-time clock for keeping time and date on projects. A tiny little stepper motor to use with stepper motor driver. I've got a few ideas for using some NEMA 17s and some other projects, so it'll be interesting to have a play with that. LCD module. 9 volt battery, although I think I'd probably be using this with a power supply. And then there is a sound sensor. I presume this is a little microphone. It's got a potentiometer of some description. And then I'm guessing out. It's got out, ground, and power in. So it'll, I imagine, give some kind of uh, analog reading depending on the amount of pressure that this, this receives. I've got a micro servo GPIO with Raspberry Pi GPIO. So you can get our um, Arduino kit to talk to a to a Raspberry Pi if we want. Yeah, as we expected, a bit of a strip board with the shield for talk, talking to the uh, the Arduino. An array of interesting bits and bobs. A matrix display, eight by eight dot matrix digital tube. It's described as. We've got some uh, seven segment displays of varying kinds. And we've got two longish looking chips, a Max 7219, not sure what that is, I'll have to Google that, and 4H595N. Oh, a PS2 style joystick. So it's analog out with a push button and that can be used as an interface with LCD projects. Some little um, 90 degree and straight connectors and it is the Arduino Uno uh, release 3 I believe and there she blows. So that if you're not familiar interfaces with various shields which will plug in to the top so that you can have all kinds of things like motor drivers and breadboards and prevent you having to link everything individually through the jumper pins. 
So there we have it. If you ask me, look at this horror pile here. That is pretty good value for 30 pounds. And what's more, it comes with some um, lessons. So I'm looking forward to getting stuck into this and I'll do some videos over the next few weeks. So if you like these videos and you want to see more Arduino content, do like, subscribe, and uh, comment to let me know what you think those two, uh, those two mystery chips are, because uh, I need to look those up. <laughs>